Yo, what's up? This is Walking Keys for SHQ NFT Gaming and Collectibles. Just so you know, we're not all NFTs. Right here is Splinterfest. Uh, this is a postcard that we got from uh, from Splinterfest. Pretty sweet. And so what I want to do is I want to use this and this mold and this epoxy right here. And then we are going to try to make a really cool like tray with this. So here we go. Here we, I want to get everything set up and uh, get rocking. All right, so the first step, you want to put the epoxy you want to mix, uh, mix some of it up. All right. Once you get them out there. All right, now what you want to do is take the other one and you want to do the exact same amount in the, uh, in the other one. You can see they're pro, both pretty much equal. And so what I want to do now is mix these together uh, and uh, activate them, store them up really well for like two minutes and then we are going to pour them in here. Okay, so I've been stirring it for about two minutes now. Uh, I have uh, gloves on. I'm in a well-ventilated area in my garage, but I have it open and I got a fan I'll turn on here in a minute. So, um, yeah, I like doing it by hand. Mainly it doesn't get as many bubbles. We're gonna pour the first layer next. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna pour this first layer on right now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead get some on because what we want to do is have a nice clear oops, have a nice clear coat at the top so we can put in the, uh, the postcard Should be good. We still have a little more left here. Okay, so as you can see, it's not fully covered yet. But we're going to get the heat next and spread it out. All right, we're going to, we're going to pour this first layer on right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get some on because what we want to do is have a nice clear. Oops, we'll have a nice clear coat at the top so we can put in the. Uh, postcard now we're going to go ahead and uh bring the heat oh we got a little heat gun here this is hard to do in the film at the same time but you do this you spread it out this is also good to help get rid of the bubbles the heat will help get rid of the bubbles all right i want to keep doing this and then i'll be right back for the next step All right, so we got this first coat here. We got to we'll put it in a little more than I wanted to, to be honest. So we're going to move quick. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place the uh, postcard in here. I'm going to tap it down. Make sure that it gets everything out. Move the air out. You can see the bubbles coming out. So we get that nice and set there. Now let's bring back in the heat one more time. You see those bubbles forming on the edge there. I'm gonna knock those out. All right, now I'm going to mix up uh, mix up some color real quick. Add some color to this. All right, and then we're going to finish it up. I'm going to go with a violet. All right. All right. Let's try to mix that up. Now, if this doesn't work, people will get mad at me for ruining one of these postcards. But I'm going to try it. I don't even know if this is going to work. I've never actually made one with a postcard before. So now that that's in, okay, let's give it one more pass over here. There's definitely some air bubbles on the sides, so let's shake the edge here a little bit. So, part of the card is uh, it's a little purple. So I thought we would add some purple to the background here. Oh shit, I got more than one here. <laughs> All right, you ready?
minutes. We just want to make sure we get enough to cover everything. And I'll be honest, that color is not going to, it didn't do it for me. I don't know about you guys, but that's just not enough for me. But it did, uh, it did cover the whole card, so that's good. All right. So we're going to need to make a little bit more mix, to be honest. Okay. So you can see, I've dropped some in, in some red, red pigment dots, which I think uh, I'm going to help accent things a little bit. Let me see. You know, let's see if we cut this open. And uh, we're going to mix it up. Don't worry, it won't end up like that. It won't end up looking just like blood. Well, at least I hope not. And I really don't know what I'm doing. So we're going to figure it out. All right, now. Now we're going to put in the dark purple. i will mix up a whole new batch here. All right, we're going to put in the spot. Actually, we're going to... I want to do half of some of it in the violet. That way we can do some additional colors if we need to, or we can make more violet if we need to. Right, but we want this one really quickly. So, you know, we're not, you're not supposed to put the, that many squirts in. Um, but, what? All right, let's see if this works. Here we go. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. So now we got that down. Let's make sure we got enough coverage here. Yeah, looks like we got enough coverage. We're going to sit here and heat it up. And if we want to spread some, spread it out a little bit, we can do that. I'm trying to maintain the back so you still see that it's a. Uh, um, the splinter splinter land splinter fest 2022 and then limited to 500 i think mean, that's pretty cool yep. all right so we're just going to cook it up a little You know, you can always, if you wanted to, just to let you know, you can always take this in here and draw out some lines if you want. Not lines, but you know, help spread it a little. Let's see if that is. Let's see if the virus here. Let's see if that is. Let's see if that is. a little more heat and then we gotta let it cook for a little while and see what we got and what you're looking at now is the back so remember that this is the back of it this will be up what's on the table and if this looks cool the other side should look really cool Down. And like I said, I'm not an expert at this. I just dabble in it. I enjoy the epoxy stuff. I made a bunch of, uh, of uh, coasters. I made a few of these trays. I've never made one with like a lot of it's clear like this before. I've just mixed a bunch of colors together and swirled them together and they came out looking pretty good. But uh, I haven't done anything like this. So I'm interested to see how this comes out. Make sure we coat this in. Make sure that's all the way down there. There we go. Alright, 
see if we can still leave that QR code there. So my goal on the other side is to have it, you know, kind of like an ethereal look coming out. I mean, that, you know, the red and a little bit of the white and the purple coming off of the cover of the postcard. It should give it hopefully like a little mystic ethereal look. And then the, the clear around it will make it hopefully, you know, really look, look kind of cool. going to do is leave it here for a while and see what happens all right we're going to let that sit i'm going to go get some fresh air and then we're going to see what happens uh chat back soon all right we let it sit for uh, 24 hours so now is the big reveal here you ready you ready for this i mean i don't need, actually, I need both hands we'll be right back there it is the final product Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you uh, if you had a good time watching me make the epoxy tray and you want to see me do more arts and craft type of stuff, let me know in the comments. And uh, you know what? I'll do it. And if you have ideas, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much. And I really appreciate you. Peace. Thanks for watching. Here's a couple of videos for you to check out. And of course, hit that like button and that subscribe button right next to it. We appreciate you all. We're having a good time.